totally ghost. Well, it is Halloween season. <laughs> groceries I only needed like staple items like milk, coffee creamer, bread, produce, stuff like that. So it was the perfect week to get the email that I got. This store sent me an email to clip a coupon that if I spent $25 I would get $10 off my purchase. So I figured it would be the perfect time to go to this store because I barely go to this store but I love this store. I always enjoy when I do go but it's not my normal grocery store that I frequent. So I went and I definitely found a lot of new things, a lot of snacky, junk, convenience foods, but those are really fun to have around and convenient at times. So let's take a look at what I found this time. We are probably going to hate this, but we love trying new things. So this mac and cheese pizza from DiGiorno is new. I got a hankering the other day for a fish filet and it was almost five bucks so I said nope from now on I'll make my own this box was $5.49 and it will give me six fish filet a lot of new things at this store I have never seen the sandwich brothers in the spicy chicken melt so I think I'll have a few lunches that will like that um this also said new on the tag but it doesn't say new on the package same thing with the chicken melts but this one's taco seasoned beef and cheese taquitos this also had a sign saying that it was new egg chicken and cheese sauce burritos i make my own breakfast burritos but because it was new i figured why not a few weeks back i actually bought the caramel macchiato plant-based chobani coffee creamer and i was so pleasantly surprised how freaking good it was there was like no difference between that and the actual like real dairy creamer so i went for the french vanilla too very pleased with that. Their milk was nicely priced. It was only $2.59 a gallon. That is a great deal for the price uh, spikes lately. And then um, I always get this brand of coffee in the hazelnut cream. It's my favorite. But I saw these two there and I did I don't know if they carry these regularly and just not at the store that I regularly buy them at but the store that I regularly buy them at and get them on sale I have never seen these so if they are a fall thing possibly I might see it but just in case they're not going to have it I definitely grabbed them so Vermont maple walnut 
and butter pecan. And the only thing that I ever dislike about this brand is the fact that it's artificially flavored, but whatever. I buy all kinds of other artificially flavored things anyways. I've been wanting to try this for a while, so I finally remembered to grab it. So it's taco seasoning mix, but it's cheesy. I grabbed two of these Mrs. Freshly's Dreamies Raspberry Cream Filmed. Oh my gosh, they are so good that's like coconut on the outside and they are not an easy find hence the reason why i picked up the two boxes and you know <laughs> you can't have fall without little debbie and her fall cakes and her brownie pumpkins so here we have it some bananas an avocado greens some italian bread with sesame seeds not sure if this is new but i have never seen it so that was a fun find. This also was a fun find. Not sure if it's new or not, but farm, Pepperidge Farm, Pepperidge Farm, Farmhouse Rustic Potato. Is it breakup buns? Yeah, I know they have potato. I've never actually seen the rustic. Is there a difference? We'll find out. And then they had some good selections for their deli meats. Uh, this one is um, oven roasted, herb oven roasted turkey breast, and that one is sriracha turkey breast. I feel like I just put this stuff up, and it's already time to take it down and put it away so we can switch over to Halloween. day my mind just started wandering and I started to think of what I was going to have on my letter board next for Halloween and then switch into fall and it came pretty easily so I was like nice and part of me was like write it down because you're gonna forget you know how you are now it's my brain oh you know just getting older it's not like it used to be my brain used to be so sharp but now I just it just doesn't retain the information that it used to anyway I didn't write it down and now that it's time to switch it over I can't for the life of me remember what it was that I thought of to put on so I'm going into this with no idea and I keep hoping like that I remember so that I don't have to go through the process again of trying to figure out what I want up but I know it's not gonna happen I know it isn't and part of me is even questioning like well did you write it down and you just don't remember that you wrote it down but I honestly don't think that I wrote it down it's just hard it's hard being 50. I'm going to leave the autumn towels out until I bring up the Halloween ones. Um, since they all go in the same bin anyways. Um, instead of just kind of doing the work twice, I'll just do it all in one felt soup. So other than just taking out the singing and giving this just a quick clean, this part is done um and then i have the table that we have to take care of we had a little birthday celebration gathering here so i cleared off the table and then at night it was late after everybody left and i figured i would just put everything back on here so it's all condensed but i didn't set it up because i knew that i would just be rearranging things um, my staples are usually these candle holders and um, this big 
vase junk thing. Uh, but I'm not using that for Halloween. I have pretty much kind of, in my head, um, detailed what I'm going to do. Uh, for the bigger pieces, for the most part, I'm sure I'll be adding like little things. But I, I know what the main players are going to be. So I'm just going to take these and put them away safely so that nothing happens to them and pack up what is going to go in there. I have this bin that I store decor bin that I mix throughout like different seasons and holidays if it's something that I know is not like a specific Christmas or a specific Halloween on um, that idea I keep it in that one bin so for whatever season or holiday that is up and I want to use it it's all right there so that I can interchange instead of like keeping it in like say Halloween and then say I wanted it for Easter Although that's that's random to to compare because why would you use something at Easter that's Halloween let's say Easter and spring that that makes a little bit more sense so I would keep it in there so that way when I wanted it for Easter I wanted it for spring I didn't have to go into those bins I know it's there and I have quite a few pieces which I love that right because you get definitely more use out of it so like this is something that goes in that bin um, the moss goes in the container in that bin this terracotta pot goes in that bin and so do these flowers because these flowers can be used like summery spring even Easter so things like that I keep all together and it's wonderful this I don't see using but possibly I want to use this but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet don't think I'm gonna be using my napkin holder only because I I really don't see it blending in with what I'm gonna do I mean obviously if I have like nap Halloween napkins in it which would be the next set of napkins I would use it would go but as far as like the finish this is like a uh, brownish uh, and everything I'm using is going to be like dark like black and gray and stuff so I think this would stick out like a sore thumb but for today I'll just leave it and then I can quickly put it away I don't want to waste no more of your precious time Walgreens I basically went there for sale items this week so I got two packages of their is it upside down yeah <laughs> I got two packages of their toilet paper nothing exciting but it's a it's supposed to be double rolls whatever I don't I think they lie but anyway it's it's nine a double rolls and it's on sale for $3.99 and um it's basically like an angel soft uh, comparison so I I think it's very very close and when Angel Soft isn't on sale that is a much better deal and they also had um, Arm & Hammer on sale this one's a fresh burst so I ended up getting two of those and then the um, detergent was $1.99 also and I got the free and clear the sensitive skin I like to use these uh, this kind for like when I'm doing when I wash towels or like if I'm gonna wash Wix toys that way there's not all those perfumes and dyes and stuff and I get migraines so like bedding of course I love the smell but I tend to use this because it helps so at CVS um i got a text from them every now and then they send me a text with different coupons uh, deals that they're having and the one i usually well i always utilize is when it's a 40 percent off one item so i went in there today and 
they had um, Count Chocula mini treats, chocolatey cereal bars, and you get 20 of them. And this is $8.99 a box. Nine bucks. But I used the 40% towards it, which brought it down, I think, $5.39, which is still steep. But at least it's better than nine. And you only see this, of course, at this time of year. So I went ahead and pulled the plug on that. And then they were having a sale on the Nature Valley bars, $1.99. And then I had like all these little random uh, extra bucks, like three cents, 23 cents. Like there was a few of them and they all added up to bring this down to a dollar. 46 and they normally carry these for 4.99 which is crazy i already opened the box because i had ordered a box of hocus pocus cereal and i already handed it over to who i ordered it for so i don't have it but i'll put up a picture just in case you're interested you can get it through target forox myers um Acorn spice trash bags, hostess, iced pumpkin cupcakes, a yum, a spooky snack mix chips, and you get three sriracha, which that's gonna be new for my guys. I don't think they've ever tried, well, I know they have never tried that. And then you get three of the regular Doritos, and then you get eight of the um, Cheetos Crunchy, just the regular kind. And then, which is what drove me to buy this. Well, the Sriracha too. The Cheetos Bag of Bones, and it's white cheddar. And the Cheetos Bag of Bones Cinnamon Sugar. And you get two of each. I got the Nature's Bakery oh, Fig Bar. Oh, pumpkin, a spice. Mm. Can't wait to try that. Kit Kat Breaking Bones Crispy Wafers in White Cream. Yum. Reese's. Um, the Ghosts. Peanut Butter Cups, but they're in ghost shape. So cute. Oh, okay. I ordered two sets. There's only one set here. It kind of looks like... Um, shower curtain material. I think this is going to be a return. Hopefully the other pair. Um, wow, this it's, it's like shower curtain material. I mean, it's pretty, but it's giving me shower curtain vibes. But I will still try to hang up at least one of the panels and see. And I'll just have to wait for the second pair. Continue to live the life you love with me by clicking and watching more videos linked here. Subscribe to my channel for future homemaking videos.